Hey everyone, uh, this is the T10L from Next Torch. So uh, this is the 1400 meter version and what's currently on their website is still the 1100 meter. It's got a really wide, as you would have seen on the, the footage, it's got a really nice wide beam. And uh, out on the farm it is just such a great thing to have. Uh, because uh, like in the city, uh, with a lot of the LEPs out there, it's such a, a narrow hotspot. Uh, there's like no surround spill on it. It's just that small, tiny uh, beam, the hotspot. And so, like in the city, uh, you can kind of see down range, you know, what's down there. Um, like you've got street lights and, and, and lights on and, and distant buildings and stuff. And so you can kind of see down range. Uh, and you're just trying to light it up uh, better uh, but out on the farm it's just you and the darkness there's nothing um, and so with a, a really fine beam like that it's uh, it's almost impossible uh, to try and navigate your way or locate something on the in a paddock um, and so I've uh, I've lived on this property for 20 plus years and when I was reviewing like the Napfire SF2 and the AmuTorch BT35, uh, I would uh, in the footage I had to redo it multiple times. Uh, you know, even though I knew exactly where those houses were, um, it was just with such a narrow beam, it was just so easy um, to to miss it. Uh, so completely useless LEPs are normally out on the farm, uh, but this is. Uh, this is probably, uh, this would be the first LEP that I would far rather take this out on the farm than I would a larger flashlight to achieve the same range. So that is saying um, a lot. Uh, the, like the, the quality of this as well, when I first pulled it out of the box, um, I was just so uh, impressed by just how it feels, how it looks. Uh, so you've got the stainless steel bezel uh, which is really nice. You've got these three ceramic balls on here for glass breaking. Uh, a convex lens with uh, anti-reflective coating. And just it just looks really good. Uh, a nice matte finish for the anodizing. And this uh, is really grippy this. Uh, you, you've got the knurling here. A square pattern knurling. And uh, it's quite shallow. It doesn't really add anything to it. But there's a uh, sufficient grip from that anodizing anyway so that is uh that is good uh, it came with this uh fr2 clip uh tactical ring and uh you know it's it's good good quality uh feels good um but it's sort of located too far down the body the placement for it uh and so you can't really can't really access, can't really use this rotary switch here very well. Um, and so if, if you're just wanting to use the rotary switch on its own, you know, it's quite, um, it's perfectly fine. But if say you've got the, your thumb engaged on the rear switch, then it's just too far down to, to comfortably use it, uh, the, the rotary switch with this finger. It just feels awkward, it's just too far down. Uh, so I would uh, personally be not using this uh, tactical ring. Uh, I do wish that uh, Next Torch uh, included a regular clip uh, with this T10L uh, for those that don't want to use the tactical ring. Uh, so moving on, we've got the, as we said, the rotary switch here. This switch is just uh, so good feeling, really high quality. Um, I reviewed the Nightcore SRT6i, and the, the the switch on that was sort of it was sort of loose, really really easy to turn, and uh, just just this uh, the feeling of it, uh, it just feels really like way way better. Uh, you've got your rear switch here, so it's just a momentary uh, switch. So I'll just go through the UI, but first uh, you know, you've got the two lanyard attachment points and uh, or tail stand, no problem. Um, so yeah, so you've got the momentary switch. So uh, just a press and hold, half press will get you straight to the high. 
uh, and then a full press down will get you the strobe. So it's just a momentary switch. Uh, and then you've got this rotary uh, switch ring here and so you've got the tactical mode that we're just on for just momentary high and strobe uh, and then you've got level one two three and then to lock on the strobe and then while you're on level one or two just a half press will get you uh, straight to the high so really nice simple to use um, I will say uh, the, the couple of things I liked about the SRT6i from Nightcore was that it had a lockout mode on this rotary switch. Uh, this does, you have to be able to lock out this light, you have to unscrew the tail cap slightly. And that works fine, and uh, you really do need to do that if you're putting it in a bag because that switch is so easy to activate. Um, another thing, uh, on the night core I loved having a dual switch on the rear because uh, it's just far quicker you know to be able to just lock it on if you're using this um, it's just far quicker to hit a second rear switch rather than trying to operate this rotary switch a couple of things about it so as I said uh, the the one th one thing I don't like about the switch is that it takes far too much pressure to get to that strobe uh, I when I first got it, I emailed. I, w I was almost going to email Next Torch and uh, tell them that I had a faulty switch because it's just it's just not normal to have to put apply so much pressure. Uh, and uh, so I emailed a couple of people that have reviewed the um, earlier version of it, and they said it does uh, take a bit of pressure. So it's normal, but it's something definitely they need to improve there. Uh, the high mode on it, it steps down at a minute and a half and so it looks like next torch are using a, a step down timer instead of a temperature thermal limit. Uh, so the room temperature uh, for my test was 21 degrees Celsius and it stepped down when it was only 28 degrees. So uh, it could last way longer than that but it is as simple as uh, just reactivating the mode to reset that timer, but it would be uh, so much better to have a limit on a thermal limit uh, a Sensor on there like a lot of other brands are doing um, Not really uh, not really a negative uh, but the battery on this is uh, Installed in reverse Here so if you're carrying a lot of other flashlights around uh, It's just so easy just to to insert it the wrong way and then of course the light doesn't work and you think something's wrong so it would be good to if they were to change that to the usual way uh, but yeah it's uh, overall if I was uh, if I was to pay 300 US uh, for this light um, I would feel like it's justified for the just the beam size the quality the performance uh, and the design, it's just uh, such a great light all around. Really, really happy with it. But I hope this was uh, helpful to someone out there. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.